guys welcome back to my channel and my name is Cindy and if you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe and like this video or just stick around and watch all my other previous videos and yeah so today if you can see I don't have any makeup on so we're gonna be doing um, my kind of makeup tutorial and just what I do for everyday makeup and I literally don't change it at all uh, I'm not really good at eyeshadow or any of that, so I probably won't show you makeup tutorial on that, but just like my overall what I put on my face. And I have all the products laid out in front of me, so it will be easy to get to and all of that. So yeah, I'll be showing you everything that I use, and by no means am I a beauty guru or really good at makeup. I'm just showing you kind of what I do and you have any tips for me, because I watch so many beauty videos and don't really pick up on anything because I don't know but if you have any tips for me then please feel free to comment down below first things first is I'm gonna moisturize my face and I don't have if you watched my previous video like the May favorites on that I don't have a face cream or something yet so I just been using my body cream and what I've been using is the Nivea essentially enriched dry to very for dry to very dry skin and it's very rich and all of that so that is probably probably just that much not much at all and I just put it all over my skin so yeah I just put this all over my skin Skin all the way to my neck and I really love this lotion because I feel like it hydrates your skin a lot and if you have really dry skin like me then it's good but I really have oily skin on my nose just like my t-zone area so that's the only problem it's not really even a problem because it it doesn't make me greasy or oily and if I'm looking away so I'm looking at my big mirror that I have behind my camera so yeah next I have this youthful essence for eyes it's an eye cream and it has SPF of 15 and this is actually discontinued but it works so good I have like nine more bottles of these so I know I'm not gonna run out for a while and this one is pretty full so I'm sorry for that since I'm showing you like, um, since I'm showing you a lotion that it's not even, you can't even purchase if you like it. But I just put some under my eyes like that and the excess I put around my nose. So I just rub it in around my eyes and really like where my eyebrows start because like that area is just very dry. So I need a lot of hydration for my eyes and I feel like that product works really good. I don't know if you can find it, if you can or not because it's discontinued. Maybe you can find it like on Amazon or something. I have no clue. So next I just prep my lips because I'm going to be putting lipstick later on and I just use it It Cosmetics. In Vitality Lip Flush. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up on it. But yeah, it's just from It Cosmetics. I don't think it is. Okay, so my camera is not picking up on it. But it's just from It Cosmetics. And it just comes in a little reflective little tube here. And... I kind of beat it up a lot, so that's how it looks like. And I just put a little bit on my lips to prep them for whenever I do put lipstick on. Next thing I'm going to be using to uh, prep my skin will be the Baby Skin by Maybelline the Instant Pore Eraser. I have really big pores in my nose and kind of my cheek area, so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this rip or this primer for a while now I'm trying to get a new primer because I feel like I've been using this for a while and I just need a new primer that actually makes my makeup last longer and I just put like pea size amounts I need to go buy some new one because I'm running out so if you can see it directly on my face 
and rub it in. It is very silicone based. So I think it hides your pores really good. And just all the excess I put around my cheek areas because I have some acne scars and bumps and I just feel like it smooths out my whole face. So during this time whenever I just put on the primer on my face, the pore filler or whatever, I usually go wet my beauty blender so I'm going to do that right now and whenever you come back then we'll continue. So, so I use the NYX eyebrow gel in the color black. It's this little tube and for me it works really good. And since I got just got my eyebrows done, it's going to be really easy to do my eyebrows since I can see the shape perfectly fine. So I'm just going to brush them. And there's not really much... There's not really much to brush since I just got them done literally today. I do is just get like tiny bits of product. You can't even really see that. But I get the very tiniest amount of product because a little bit goes a lot. And yeah, just kind of fill them in. I'm going to be doing it in my mirror. So I just do an outline first and if you mess up don't worry I'll teach you a trick okay like I was saying don't be afraid if you mess up your eyebrows I already did this eyebrow so what you're gonna do is just get a wet uh, q-tip and just kind of shape where you messed up and just take off the excess that you messed up in I got some up there, sorry. The next thing we're going to go to is concealer. And I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Concealer. And I have it in the shade Tan. Applying it to basically all of my imperfections that I have on my face. Which is basically everywhere. And then I'm just go with the damp beauty blender and just blend it all out. Okay, so after you blend that out, we're gonna go in with our foundation, and I have the Fit Me by Maybelline in the color 238 Rich Tan. So I know a lot of people really like this. Um, really like this foundation. And I've already, I used it before and it was like, I don't know, I just got back on it because a lot of people kept talking about it, how it improved, but I feel like it got, I don't know. The first time I used it like a long time ago, I felt like it was way better, but I don't know, it might be me. So what I do is just put some in the back of my hand and I put a good sum amount, that's how much I put. See, I was like dripping, yeah. So I have the Real Technique sponge and I think it's a the greatest dupe ever for the Beauty Blender and what I just did is basically just pick a big glob of the foundation and just dabbing it all over my face. And I put it everywhere even on my eyelids. Because I'm not able to put like primer on that, but I do this and put primer on top of that too. So, and make sure to drag it down to your neck. I don't have like the same, it doesn't really match my skin tone, but I do it anyways. After that, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio Concealer for under my eyes. And of course, you've probably seen this so many times. I just do it underneath my eyes. Just a generous amount. I just got some on my thumb. Great. So I just use a generous amount. And contour your face. Those are my dogs. They're going crazy. And you're just gonna blend that in with your Beauty Techniques sponge. That's all blend out. We're gonna go with the whole cream contouring and actually sculpting the face. So 
This is the Maybelline Fit Me combination. This is the foundation, but I just got the really dark tan as my for a contour stick. So you can see that. And this is in the color 30, I mean 355 coconut. It's super dirty, so sorry. But it just comes like this. So as usual, it is kind of through a big line, and by no means am I beauty guru, makeup guru, whatever. This is just how I do my makeup, and I don't think it looks terrible. So don't come for me, makeup gurus of. The YouTube world. Do you hear my dogs? Like they're going crazy. Okay, and again, just like blend, blend, blend out. I don't blend this out really much that much because it's really easy to blend out, so I don't have to really do that much. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is prime our lids for whenever we do. Um, eyeshadow. I'm not going to show you how to do my eyeshadow because by no means is it good. I do not do my eyeshadow good. I'm not going to say that I do. I don't do it terrible, but I don't do it like all the pictures that you've seen on fucking Twitter or Instagram. Like, got me a little insecure about my makeup game, but whatever. So what I use is the Bare Minerals Prime Time. It's an eyelid primer. And I guess it works good. I don't really know much about primer and if it's good or not so yeah i'm sorry about my nails they're chipping they're chipping oh yeah just put some on your eyelids and just dab it all around with your real techniques your dupe for the beauty blender now i'm gonna be uh bronzing up my whole face i'm gonna be using the makeover essentials bronzer and i talked about this in my uh favorites video for may and that should be out whenever i have this posted and i'm literally uploading it right now and it's taking forever i've been uploading it since like and this is not focusing like it was focusing perfect what's going on So yeah, it's a shimmer bronze by Makeup Makeover Essentials. So yeah, so I put a lot usually because I blend it out later, so it's popping up on the camera a lot. You can see that that's how I put a lot. So I blend it out later. You might be looking like, what the hell? She don't have enough for no makeup. I told you. So I used the um, loose powder professional from cover girl now I use this I've been using it. it comes with so much product in it I highly recommend I think it's cheaper than the airspun one and I think it works good so yeah and it broke which sucks but yeah it broke like literally like the third day I got it but yeah so you're gonna get to your real technique sponge and then this side I like that you're just gonna dip it in here and just apply that under your eyes it feels so good whenever you apply it it's so soft this is a soft product and like keeps your makeup looking good i hear i never ever have heard anyone talk about this product ever and i don't know why it doesn't even have flashback either but i don't know Maybe it just works good on my skin only. Alright, so next what you guys want to do is do your eye makeup. I literally got this palette not that long ago for Christmas and it's just a beautiful a range of colors. Look at that. So I'm still learning to do my eyeshadow so I'll be right back. Because I don't know how to do it that good and I'm not going to give you bad tips. So yeah, once you're done with your eye makeup, then take off 
the powder. I'll be right back. Alright, so I just got done with my eyes, and now we're gonna move on to take off the thing. I'm gonna drink some water first because I'm thirsty. So now you're gonna take off the excess powder from your face, and I'm just using an e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. And it just looks like this. And I'm gonna just take off everything. done with my makeup the next thing I'm gonna be using is the matte finish spray from NYX or NYX and just this long-lasting spray and it just really refreshes my face and I just have this and I'm just going to fan out my face I'm gonna fan it out for a little bit and then I'm gonna get my beauty blender and just kind of tap it in. So, yeah, after that, I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes and I just have a regular curler here, so I'm gonna just curl them. So, yeah, just curl out your eyelashes and then just pick whatever um, mascara that you choose. So, I'm gonna be using the Hello Lashes. Um, by It Cosmetics. I have a lot of It Cosmetics things as you can tell. So I'm just going to be using this and the wand is, I really like the wand and just the product in general. But this is kind of how the wand looks like. You can barely see it. So yeah. I'm going to just be applying that. Usually I'll put on fake lashes, but I don't have eyelash glue, so I need to go buy some of that and some new primer. So yeah, I just applied that all for my lashes, and for my bottom lashes, I used the Megalink Mascara from Wet n Wild. I think this is a really good mascara for your bottom lashes. So next thing I'm going to be doing is put this Amplify. Eye Lash and Brow Fortifier, and I really love this stuff. I use it just on my brows. It's a clear gel, and it just comes in this little tip. So I just put that on my eyebrows so they stick through and don't move around throughout the day. Last but not least, you're going to get some of your favorites. Um, bare Minerals or any lip product. I use Bare Minerals in the color Boss and I've been talking about it in I talked about it in my May Favorites video. So it's just a pretty pinky kind of brown nude. So yeah. And yeah, this is the look. This is how I do my makeup and I hope any of these tips help you at all in doing your makeup and I really like to filming this kind of video since I'm filming basically one video here and then I'm going to be doing another video right after this. So it's just very productive I guess you can say. So please no hate comments or any of that. I'm not a beauty guru by any means. It's just how I do my makeup on a daily basis. And, yeah, I like how my eyebrows came out, and especially since I just got them done today, so. So that'll be all for today's video, and hopefully I'll be getting this uploaded pretty soon. I should. It is May 15th. So I'll be getting this uploaded pretty soon, and yeah. This video is going to be about my favorites for the month of May and I'm doing this pretty early but I'm finally out of college so I have all the time in the world to 